Welcome to this Lambda Research video. This video will be a tutorial on Oslo's interface, just an introduction to it, and there are other videos to support each of the elements that are discussed in this video. So I'm going to start out and open up Oslo. I have uh, the tip of the day still displayed even after using this program for a number of years. I, I still like to have this. I still learn things from it. So as I open this uh, the program right now. I'm actually going to go to the lens library. So this is a startup option that comes up when you start the program. It opens to this database. Don't worry too much about this if you're just opening your own files. I'm going to go ahead and open up this trip at once just so I have a lens open as I'm showing this. Oslo has a number of different uh, elements to its interface. Here at the top you can see we have uh, just some menus. So this isn't uh, dissimilar to many types of, of uh, programs in Windows or even Apple interfaces, any different types of things, very common. Everything in the program in general that you'll use on a day-to-day -day basis already exists in these menus up here. In addition, there is this toolbar here, and there's a number of different menu elements and toolbars. There's the one at the top, there's ones on the graphics window, and then there are text ones here on the text window. I'll get more to the uh, graphics and text windows in a moment. These buttons here are just quick ways to do certain things like opening spreadsheets or um, uh, saving the, pro the, the file. And if you notice, there's this little button here that allows you to put other ones up here. So now I've added some tolerancing ones, and I can toggle that back off and I can even take all of them off at any given time. Oslo also has uh, a command window and the command window is open uh, here. I'll note right now that when you do open the program the way I have it laid out here matches this smaller format that I'm using for the these videos and I've got this graphics window nestled here in the corner and then I have the text window down below when I open a spreadsheet it's going to open up uh, right here in this upper left when you close the program and open it again it will open up and you and the first graphics window and the first text window that you have open they will go ahead and they'll, they'll be in the positions that they were they were last in the last time you ran the program so this isn't a uh, this is just something that you can customize to an extent uh, but note that every time you open it, you know, you'll only have those two windows open. Depending on if you're opening up a file or not and how it's saved, you may or may not have the uh, spreadsheet open. So there's this command window where you can type in different commands. There's the check mark, which is to accept changes, and the X mark to cancel changes. I cover that in another video. So if I open this spreadsheet here, now I have... Um, the option to go down into sub spreadsheets. So Oslo has menus at the top, buttons for the menus, a command window, and then a number of spreadsheets that are, that are opened up to do different things. The main one being this Surface Data spreadsheet. The other two elements for the interface uh, that are most notable are the graphics window and text window. You can have two text windows open it's possible to open more text windows and graphics windows either by typing in a command um, or to just open with the text window open or graphics window open. So if I want to open another text window right now, it asks me, prompts me here for another text window. I tell it, yes, open text window number two. I don't uh, specify these numbers. Another text window has opened. I can choose to then close this text window if I want. And if I go back into the command line, you see there's a, a buffer here. So I'm just quickly going through a number of the different elements. And like I said, this video is intended to be an overview that you can then use to find other videos that will go through these elements in uh, much, much more detail. On the graphics window and, and text window, both this, there's the same option that's customizable to drop down and pull up more buttons or not. And when you actually run commands in the text window, many of the output numbers are buffered into a spreadsheet so you can access them uh, in different um, commands you may choose to write 
or just to uh, uh, pull it into some other form format or even use it in one of the spreadsheets. So that's actually a very convenient feature. The graphics window, there's a number of different options. Notice that for the graphics window, if you want it to update, you make a change to your lens. For example, on this trip, when I open the spreadsheet, I'm choosing to close this graphics window. And now let me change this to minus 15 or some number like that. If I want to actually update this window, I, ha I do have to uh, um, update it by doing something to it. Often you'll just uh, double left click on, click on it and that will, that will update it. The last thing I'm going to go through in this uh, to show the last element is the little question mark help. Right now I'm open to this spreadsheet. If I hit the help button here, it will actually open Oslo's help to a page that's specific to that spreadsheet which is really uh, useful to have and you can go out of that uh, you can go out of that spreadsheet hit the question mark button and it'll go to a general help thing which I'll do in a moment notice I hit the red X which means I cancel the changes that I made if I hit yes it doesn't remember those changes it's back to where it was originally I talk about storing using the uh, green check mark and canceling using the red X mark in another video. It's very important to understanding and taking advantage of that useful feature. Please watch that uh, video on that topic if you haven't seen it yet. If I hit the question mark button here, you'll see it just goes up to the general help overview. So this was a very quick uh, crash course in Oslo's interface, menus, buttons, text window, text window, graphics window, uh, spreadsheets, uh, and command line, which are the main elements uh, in the program. So we will be, uh, we will have other videos covering uh, these topics. I hope you found this useful as an introduction to the user interface. Thanks.